Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Solar Radiation, Global Warming and Human Disease. And we're going to talk about one of the subjects of that book and that is radio wave sickness. Now, radio wave sickness is one of the modern plagues of society today. But most people wouldn't realize it because most people have never heard of it. And it's somewhat of a conspiracy as to why radio wave sickness is not known by the mass population. Because all the stuff that we're looking at in this video actually can cause radio wave sickness to occur. And this is very, very typical of what you find in most American homes today. So there's actually no shortage of radio wave sickness in the population. And I talk about that in the book. But I'm gonna let you know what I actually got it down to. Now I was sick for many, many years. It kind of came on really bad in my 20s. And it got atrocious by the time I was like 39 and I was on prescription medication. And the doctor was basically telling me to get used to it as that was a normal aspect of aging. And it's, it's blatantly not true. I was actually poisoned and uh, the poisoning was microwave and radio frequency devices and some solar radiation poisoning was in there as well. So uh, you can actually clear out that poisoning effect and actually talk about the radiation detoxification in this book. So if you want to know what I did to clear out the poisoning from these devices, you can find it in the book. But I'm going to go through what some of the things are that you need to be very, very wary of. And most people don't realize this because it's just really bad for business in the modern Western world for people to be aware of what radio wave sickness is. So modern corporations and governments don't want you to understand this subject. So if you're on my channel watching this video, it's because you do want to understand the subject. So let's go forward with our understanding of what causes radio wave sickness in the human. And I've got to say this, this device I have rated as particularly toxic. It's a laptop computer. And this is my old work laptop computer that I used for a number of years. And in that particular job, I got very sick. And I later tested this laptop computer, I found that it was generating a very, very large radio wave field around it. So every time I went into work and I turned on this computer, I was sitting in a very large radio wave field. And I was also using the wireless internet on it. So I didn't, nobody had told me that wireless radiation was toxic. So I didn't know any better. So I'd go into work, I would set up this computer, I would sit next to it and I would sit there using the wireless internet all day long. And uh, part of the story involves this because this is the same wireless router that my job used and I actually had the same router in my home. And I was sitting probably just uh, maybe several feet away from this in my jobs. And I have to say, I was quite shocked once I realized how toxic these devices can be to the human what it was doing to me. And uh, if I sit next to one of these today, I get sick very, very quickly, just in a matter of days, it comes on. And the sickness is typically insomnia, fatigue, headaches, lethargic, fuzzy thinking. There's a lot of very weird stuff to you, this Wi-Fi radiation when you're on top of it. And one of the things that I found that I had in my home that was particularly toxic and my workplace also used these devices. These are pulsed transmitting devices for weather stations. So you buy a wireless thermometer. Uh, this is the electronic wireless outdoor thermometer. So you typically get one of these with an indoor and outdoor thermometer. So I had two of these at my home and they were actually stopping the plants in my garden from growing. And in some cases they were actually killing the plants. So, the interesting thing about these little devices is that you just wouldn't think that a battery powered device that runs for a year or two on a single battery can actually kill plants 40 feet away from it, but that's what these devices were doing. So as I got further into figuring out what was making me sick, I actually came across my digital TV. My digital TV actually creates very large radio fields in my home and it appears to do that through the wiring. 
So it appears to be a combination of wiring and emissions coming out of the electronics from this TV. And I no longer use it. I'm back using cathode ray tube TVs because this digital TV, it was deforming everything around it. I would put plants by it and the plants would all deform. So I, uh, I tend to stay away from TVs now. And even my cathode ray tube TV can do similar stuff, but it's not as bad as this flat screen TV. The flat screen TV is far worse. Uh, if you've got a cathode ray tube TV, you should always be a good 10 feet or so away from it because the fields can be quite large coming out of cathode ray tube TVs. And uh, this is a recent find, was this Wi-Fi printer. I was actually working on this for a friend trying to figure out why it wouldn't print properly. But what I didn't realize was that the wireless adapter that is inside it behaves like a wireless router. So very, very similar. It just transmits Wi-Fi radiation day and night. It's just continual. So sitting next to this printer, I was about two feet away from this printer, brought on a wide range of symptoms that are classic radio wave sickness symptoms. And I have a separate video that talks about this printer, but it's somewhat concerning that most printers today are wireless. And if they behave like this one, then they're probably quite toxic. So it's something you've got to be very aware of today is that the electronics, the electronic products in your environment have a level of toxicity that wasn't there just five or 10 years ago. And there's a lot of people getting sick around all this stuff and they don't realize that they're getting radio wave sickness because they don't realize what radio wave sickness is. And uh, I can tell you that I have very classic symptoms of radio wave sickness. And when I did the radiation detoxification process that's outlined in the book, I got very, very healthy after doing that process. And I then slowly identified all the items that were causing radiation sickness symptoms to appear in me out of my environment. And today I have health that I didn't think was possible just a few years ago. So I'm actually back to feeling somewhat like I did when I was a teenager, which I, I thought was impossible, particularly when I was 39 and I was on prescription medication. I no longer take prescription medication because I don't need it. So uh, that's the modern society for you and how it's polluting us all. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. If you want to find out more, you'll find it in my book, Soil Radiation, Global Warming and Human Disease. Thank you.